Hi ladies, this is Marie Mack and I'm back to show you a project chair. And of course it's a little shabby chic here. Um, a friend of mine, well actually she's an, a neighbor that we both used to live in the same neighborhood but we've moved out of that neighborhood since. And um, she's actually moving to a new home and getting married and everything. And she had posted on Facebook that um, she had seen something similar to this on Pinterest. And so I decided to go ahead and make these um, for her. I had gotten some um, joys from Craft Supplies 1 whenever they had a really good sale on them. So anyway, I'll show you the jars and then I'll show you the stuff that I used to make them. Because um, there's hundreds of tutorials out there. I'd, not good at that but anyway it was so quick and simple to put together it took less time to do these than it will the video I guarantee so anyway these here are the doilies that I got from craft supplies one and I put three of them on there and then I had some trim here you can see that um, that I'll show it to you in a minute, but um, I put the trim on, and then this jute twine, it's, a, it's like the three-ply, which I did want a thicker one when I was looking for um, something to put on these jars, because there was a little bit thin one over there by the jewelry and stuff at Walmart, but anyway, so I got the jute twine, and then this little rose here, um, I just wanted to kind of keep it a neutral color. If she decides she wants to paint it, she can. But, um, so that's the first one. And these I just got in, in a um, swap that I was in. So that's the first one. And this one, it's similar. It just has a different pattern. And I think it's real pretty. She wants to put um, tea lights in them, which I'm going to go ahead and get the ones that are the battery operated. And it took like three to put on this. And then again, I put a different type of um, little fringe on there. Again, the jute twine and the little rose. So those are the ones that I um, made for her. So um, I'll just show you the stuff that I made it with just had this jar that I got like 25 cents and then I t took these and I had seen uh, well, different methods but I took and used this right here and I sprayed it I sprayed the doily that's why I had this paper down it's because I had some over there but I sprayed the doily and then I put it on here rather than spraying the glass because that way it's just on the doily and you can put it where you want it and then I took um, this right here. This is the first fringe. I got this at my local thrift store, by the way, for 25 cents. Um, and then I think it was half price back then. So anyway, this here is the one I used on one. And this is the other one that I used. And... Um, then I used this jute twine, and like I said, this is I wanted a thicker jute twine because I had picked up the other one, and it was a lot more expensive, and there's um, not near as much. And then I found this in a different department over at Walmart, but I did want the thicker one, the more rustic, because I'm also going to be using this for um, some other projects. So. Basically, that was it. I mean, it took me, what, five minutes to put these together, to spray them, to put the the, um, the trims on them, and then the jute and the flower. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed those. Um, they're quick, fast, and easy to make. You can put, you know, do all kinds of things with them. So thanks for watching, and um, I'm going to be back with a, another video um, in just a little while. So 
um, a day or so. So have a great day, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day is in your part of the world. Just have a great day and God bless.